Okay, so here we are. We're about to make a nice, delicious Louisiana duck gumbo. This is my employee. This is Mr. Henry. Is that right? Is that your name? What's your name? Henry. Henry. In Louisiana, there's no child labor laws, so don't try to report this. Okay, so we got our ingredients here. What's that? Meat. Meat makes you big and strong. What's that? Meat makes you big and strong. So we've got our smoked sausage. We've got our duck that's been picked. This is actually duck and pheasant. Henry, what's a pheasant? A bird. That's right. What you got there? You stirring the roux? So Henry's stirring the roux. We've got a head of garlic, a tablespoon of parsley, three bundles of green onions or shallots. We've got three large onions. And then we got two packs of okra. And that's our ingredients. You can see here, Henry, like I said, is uh, stirring the roux. We haven't put any heat to this yet. I'll explain that as we get, get going. So earlier we cooked the, uh, the ducks in this pot, and this is gonna end up being our broth to, that we thin, out the, we thin out our gumbo with. There's some giblets in there. Of course, you gotta strain it for shot. Um, if you were shooting the ducks. So, we'll also cook our rice in that. All right, give me five. All right, so we got all the, the ducks boiled. They cooled off. We're ready to start taking the meat off of them. So that's what we've got here. We've got duck and pheasant. We're gonna pluck all the fat and meat off and keep that uh, and put that in the gumbo. Now when you're boiling your ducks for the two hours, you put salt and pepper in there to taste. And that's a big pot, so you can end up putting a whole lot of uh, salt and pepper in there. I kind of like it salty. I grew up down in Opelousas and that's sort of where I learned how to do it. peanut oil, flour, and heat, and a lot of time, and you've got a roux. Now, Tony Sachery's makes an instant roux, which is pretty good. These guys here, they have an instant roux you can just buy at the store. I've always made my own, but I've tasted theirs, and it is good. Okay, so the roux is moving. You always just want to keep your little wooden spoon stirring the bottom of the, of the roux. You want your fire in about a medium kind of medium low heat. You can see it's kind of a, an off-white cream color. Once you start getting darker like peanut butter, you're headed in the right direction. But we're going for something kind of chocolatey like Nutella, sometimes even a little bit darker. So once you start your roux, you're stuck with it. You're sitting here cooking. You can't walk away from it. If the phone rings, you just leave it. Barring the death of a very close relative, you gotta stick with your roux. Without a good roux, you just sort of made a goulash or a soup. It's not gumbo. Okay, so you can see now that this is getting darker, it's getting kind of like peanut butter, it's starting to thicken up. Once it starts getting darker though, it starts moving pretty quickly. So the darker it gets, the faster it gets darker. And this is the critical, critical time when you really gotta watch your, watch your roux. All right, so it's ready. We're gonna add the onions. And that's when the smoke starts rising. You get a big billow of steam and smoke come up. And if you're cooking outside like I'm doing, that's when your neighbors start coming. They start to smell that in the air. They say, uh-oh, uh -oh. he's got one on, he's cooking. So once you add your onions, that sort of cools your roux down a little bit, stops it from getting so actively cooked. Then you let all those ingredients simmer, the onions, the green onions, the parsley. Let that simmer for about 10 minutes. That's when you can add a little cayenne pepper if you want. Once you've simmered the, those ingredients for about 10 minutes, then you go and get your duck broth, which is what you boiled your ducks in, and you pour that into the roux with your onions and that 
thins it out, and that's what gives you your final thickness of the gumbo. Once you've added your duck broth, that's when you add your sausage, your duck meat, and the cut okra. You taste that, and you see how it tastes. You can add Tony's at that point, or more salt, or some of your secret spices, whatever you want to use to sort of make it your own gumbo. So this gumbo will be ready to eat in about three or four hours after the okra are nice and soft. Gumbo tends to be better though as leftovers. So tomorrow is actually when this is gonna be eaten. So this will eat up pretty good tomorrow. There's probably about 30 people, depending on how hungry they are, this should feed them. Like I said, this will just simmer for several hours today. We'll put it in the fridge tonight. Bring it back out around noon, let it heat back up and simmer for until about 6.30, and it'll be ready to eat. C'est bon. Oh, my God.